Let's have a couple of quick <laughs> questions while Julie changes everybody to suits. Yeah. So is there a way to set up like the kind of comment that you would make repeatedly? Mm -hmm. Is there a way to like store that so that you don't have to retype it all the time? I, uh, so you can certainly do rubrics. So it would be possible for me on any of these assignments to build in a rubric. And I could definitely, I mean, I could imagine doing that. And it's, you know, you build your rubric. Let's see if we can show up here. It's going to show me the speaker. Uh, if you, you, know, you can uh, build a rubric and insert a rubric, it'll appear here as a table. Uh, and I think you could use that not necessarily as a grading rubric in that way, but just for comments. And it lets you click on which box with the comment in it you want to highlight for the student, and that will show up yeah. for them. So you can absolutely do that. I mean, that's one of the fabulous things about SpeedGrader just for normal grading, mm -hmm. is that you can do that. Okay. It's also a great way if you did this as a draft and you had them do peer review of each other's drafts earlier on, um, that would reinforce for both the person who is graded, but the person who's doing it, who's doing the, 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 the assessment or the review themselves, oh yeah, these are the things I need to look out for. Here's what they look like in the person's paper. Do I have that in my paper as well? I should double check that. Yeah, yeah. So it's a great reinforcement of, of what we want. Yeah, so that's a wonderful idea. And again, next go around thinking more systematically about how I was going to do that. I think that would be wonderful. Um, to have that rubric sitting up there. I was also just thinking about this, John, um, with your earlier comment before we started the, um, the show today about having your other class make a website. Mm -hmm. You could have them just submit the URL for their posts That's true. in here. And so they would have, instead of a paper with one inch margin and 12 point font, yeah. it would be like, does it have a graphic? Does it have books? Right. Does it have whatever? And That's right. That can get in through here as well. I That's believe. a wonderful idea, sure. I don't know if that would work looking well in peer review for speed grader. Oh, yes, Karen. I just wondered if you give any points for them doing the peer review, or what, what if they don't do it? Do you have any consequences? <laughs> Again, uh, not this go around. I would next time, definitely. Um, honestly, very low stakes. I have not had any problem with students not doing the peer reviews so far, um, but this, again, is a class of 15 students. It's a senior seminar. They've selected into this class because they care about the material, so it's a, a different kind of student. Uh, but it would be easy enough to go in and, and just add that as an assignment. Yeah, I was going to say, if you were teaching, you know, survey class with 150, 200 students, how do you think you would change your approach to peer review? So I would definitely only ever do random peer reviews. I would have some way to have some quality control. So I would probably make it a matter of uh, you get two or three points for a peer review, and that lets me differentiate between did you just go in and write something or did you write something that's actually useful, right? Um, yeah, that, those are the main things I would do. I would also spend more time uh, in, a, in a situation like that prepping them for, for peer review uh, than I have to in a small class like this. Yeah. Just a response to that, I wonder, I, I came in late so you may have touched yeah. on this, but you could also have it where the reviewee has some feedback for the re reviewer so that and then that goes to the instructor as well so that that there's a there's a another set of eyes on the on the reviewee and it's not entirely on the instructor to to manage that how helpful was this review or even just a thumbs up thumbs down on what did this review help or even like a sort of a mini rubric so you can kind of give them a yeah. little bit of a scale and, yeah. and uh, guidelines to kind of judge how how much the review was helpful and, yeah. and all that because that's really what it's about right yeah. students helping the students that's right and, and, and the self-awareness of how to be a good reviewer yeah right? and if you do it that way and you can make that work then you also get yourself out of some uh, grading work of going and looking at everybody's peer review and assigning a grade for everyone's peer review. Yep. So, yeah. All right, we've got, I think you should all be students and you should all have an email to join the Active Teaching Lab. If you go to the home page, you'll see that right above the activity sheet, there's a little link to a, an assignment that you can do um, on about a university mascot. Favorite mascot. Favorite mascot. So it's a really difficult assignment. It should probably take you only a couple hours. 
It's due, it's due in five minutes. Oh, it's due in five minutes. So quickly. And then we'll go in and assign you all as reviewers, and you get a chance to answer a lot of these questions of what does this actually look like to the students. That's it, I'm walking out. <laughs> go on, you know, it's just abusive it's students. <laughs> the Universal Design Society. We can just do an email then? Um, if you go to campus.wisp.edu, you, uh, campus you should have that as a course, the active teaching lab. Mm -hmm. still a teacher that I miss that would like to be a student? That's a glitch I found with peer review too, because I always make myself both a teacher and a student, oh, so I can see sure. the student, and if you don't uh, uncheck yourself, you'll get a peer review for your students too. Show me how to get into it's that. It's a little glitch. Oh, yeah, so go ahead and put the courses. Oh, yeah, that's a Give you a two minute extension. I should have. We should have come here. I thought it was which bill that did option. There's like three of them. So that's if you. Yeah, it's different than the there's. So the thing is due at 9:20, and then basically at 9:20. I would have thought it would have official. Oh, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Yeah. So, so, and that's where I might. So here's what we well, use this. In terms of what's here that I would use, I would probably set it up in a shade and I'll be like left on the side, and then I would go back in the day and do a change to right then. But I think that sort of the question of wouldn't it be great if there was a button there that I said don't. Yesterday, yeah, so I didn't say at the bottom. It doesn't, that's it. They said I had to manually. It was about six minutes. I have 50 seconds to finish your mask out of sign. Yeah, I said it. I actually required that it only be a text entry and not a. Video taking is yeah, that's kind of weird too. Like submission, it right? is weird. Her name, I'm not ready. Yeah. So, yeah. so, 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 I don't know. And I don't know. It doesn't tell me that I did that. It didn't tell me that I did that. It looks like you should work. It should just jump over the bananas. That's everybody's favorite. So, I thought so. I thought so. You have one. Small mates is the first time I've tried it. It's full of design. So, obviously, it was the one. Why? They just said because, I know, I should always have the option. But it's okay if it's late, because I think the peer review is until 9.22, so. So I thought it would just go to those, because it's good to be able to try it right now. So I don't get why. I should have done, I could have kept the whole thing. So I don't get why. It's hard to do that. But I still don't know why I didn't want to. Well, you can get a lot more into the game. Before that, right? Yeah, and it doesn't tell you if it did it, so I just assumed. Uh oh, I turned mine in late. Oh, no! But it says I turned it in at 9 times, so I must have turned it in a few seconds late. I just changed the, the thing to that time. So if you haven't turned yours in yet, sorry. 
What did you do? Well, well, I can change that now. <laughs> I just got See? a couple of emails that yeah. have been assigned to peer review people. Oh, no. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> to say I would like to take back those assignments. Oh, look at that. And, and you know, what I, like, that's what. Oh, yeah. Who wants to share what it looks like from student view? Uh, come bring your computer up and let's see what it looks like. Hey. It is pretty good to do that on the computer. Alright, how's it taking there? Easy. Has it assigned peer reviews? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. So on the yeah. right hand side over here, assigned peer reviews, we're going to have uh, Cliff and Karen. Is, and then, <laughs> the only people that got it in on time. Look at you guys in on time. The rest of the two right now. You all had a good few seconds morning. I don't understand what took so long. All right, can you go through the peer review assignment right now? That's just on assignment. She's going to look at yours right now, Cliff, and see what you did. Boiler peach. But Bucky Badger seems nice. <laughs> All right. I suppose that's good. All right. I guess you, you suppose you got credit. <laughs> yeah. So I don't assign a grade. In this one, you don't assign a grade. We could have, I think, set it up so that you could give your um, assessment of one to five, one to whatever. Mm -hmm. I did not attach a speed grader rubric, and I don't know if that would allow them to give a grade, but I didn't do that this What time. happens if you change, what other views are there under pay-per-view up there? So we didn't, this, we didn't have everybody do a, uh, that's an assignment, right? It wasn't a paper, we didn't have them upload a paper. Oh, this right. This is just a text entry one? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yes. the crocodoc. The crocodoc doesn't, so that's what. Yeah. Yeah. You can't give them a grade unless there's a rubric. Uh, the student can give points, but the, it's up to the instructor to get that grade. Right. So those are all things to be aware of. All right. Look good? OK. Julie, can we make them all teachers now? Yes. All right. So I'm sorry, did I miss, then we can't go into uh, 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 speed grader because? So the crocodoc view, where you can go in and write notes and stuff, only works if you have a document. Uploaded document. Uploaded document. document. On my submission. On my submission. I believe. Gotcha. And the text entry ones, you can't break the margins. So you can't, can't comment the way you would it in speed grader. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is interesting, because I remember when Miguel Gasol this was here. He talked about requiring them all to do text entry so they could write it in whatever they wanted to do, but they'd have to copy paste it into text entry so that when he was grading them, he didn't have to wait for it to convert from Microsoft Word into a, a version that, that was that worked. Yeah. Which file formats support CopyDoc? Oh, there's a list of like 30 file formats. So Everything from PDF. Word to I believe pages even, um, open document, format, PDFs, um, there's, there are so many of them. I just saw the list yesterday and it's like 30 different formats. Do, do the PDFs take a long time to load? Well, if you've got a whole bunch of them to do, like each one takes a couple of spins and that time adds up. So if you only have 15 people, that's the time to you know, stop and have a cup of coffee. But if you've got to go through them very quickly, then um, Miguel else wanted to just make it faster. So I see I could also, for my peer review, I could record either video or audio. Yep. And the students could too. And the students could, yeah. Yeah. So John, how do you know that the peer reviews are actually assigned? I guess I'm paranoid. So when is there something that sends you something that you know that it actually did what you asked it to do? Yeah, I just clicked on that as oh, you were saying that. So it does say that. Over on the right hand oh, side over here, there's a thing that says peer reviews on the assignments page here. Uh -huh. And if I click on that, it tells you who was assigned what. It will tell me not only who was assigned what, there you go. Okay. but who has already done what they are assigned. So Sid already checked off John, but she hasn't done Bethany's yet. Cliff's just slacking here. Dustin hasn't done any. Dustin hasn't done any. Did you try to click on Bethany? 
Right. Those need that. But you can't anymore because you should all be students, okay. no okay. teachers. Okay. Right. Uh, so, no. too late, missed opportunities. They're teachers now. I don't know. So, that's your mark. If you're receiving a little warning, if you're trying to peer review and it says that this person is not enrolled in the course anymore, it's because I changed them back to a teacher already. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be reading it down. If you're late. You can assign peer reviews to those users who have submitted but don't already have reviews submitted. So oh. it looks like there is a button I could that lets that. you go play catch up yeah. with the people that are late. But that would only work if you have more. More than one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Again, so many of these things, you, you don't know what they do until we actually try them or have somebody invited in to come talk about what happens because they've tried them. Right. So. The main lesson being planned in advance. Mm -hmm. so that okay, so is it always one to one though? Can you can tell it like I want two people to review it? Yeah, right? yeah, and that's what so I did. So I did. That's like, where that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if you change that, um, if it would just go back and find other people in the class and add them to review or only look at late ones. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. They <coughs> said I had to call Canvas. Oh, it won't. No, go back and find previous. Well, that would be nice. So, other thoughts, reactions. How many of you have looked into this at all? One, one in a, one in a couple of apps. <laughs> I, I can't quantify this. What is this? A lot of questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you have used groups before or looked into it? I know, yeah. One. I have a, a question for John. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about how. So I've got a similar assignment where they start by having a preliminary idea, they do an annotated bit, and, you know, and then there are these sort of check marks along the way as they complete something. And it sounds like you. You like could you couldn't go to a group thing? Is that because it was all part of one larger assignment with segments? With like, I'm so I, to understand I, why you couldn't go to why group couldn't group. create it as a group assignment for one particular assignment? But, and and the truth is, I I don't. I might be able to do that. I did. I haven't tried it. So what I what I would need if I were going to treat it as a group assignment, I need each member of the group to be able to submit a different document, and I need to be able to give them an individual grade on that. Right. right? So and, and that's where I, I backed off because if it was if I treat it as a group assignment and then Canvas is only going to let me assign a group grade and not an individual grade, which I suppose it would probably let me, I could go back in and do the individual. So that, that's what I was, okay. I that's understand. what I, I didn't go down that path of figuring out. I would love to be able to do it all within groups. Like I would love to just form my research paper working groups and have the peer review work within those groups, have everybody uploading them, their own separate assignment. I, okay. And I, I, guess, haven't, I, I haven't played with that yet, but I, I would think. We can probably do that. So what we need, Ruth, is a, a brave, experimental, innovative educator yeah. who can <laughs> do that and come back and fall and tell us about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll give it a shot. All right. I'll sign you up. <laughs> Another weird glitch I found about this. So if you want to assign to someone who has submitted late, you can't find that out from that peer review thing. You have to go to the, you have to have two tabs up and have the speed grader and look who might have submitted late and then go in here. It'd be nice if right in this little area of peer review you could see who submitted late and uh, then assign them. But when I talked to Canvas, they said they can't do that. So I have to go to grades? You have to go to grades and then try to find out who submitted late using the speed grader, then go to, the, I mean, you say I almost have two tabs up. You have to have two well, tabs up to see who. If it's late, it will be color coded in this. Yes, in grade it will, so will but you won't know. see it in your peer grader, this thing here, the, the 
the page on the peer oh, review. The, you won't know here. You won't know who right. submitted it. You know, you won't know so, here who submitted it. You'd have to go to speed grader and then see and then go back to that. Peer. So it would just would be nice to be in one panel to see, oh, the submitted, but no, blah, blah. So does the red mean that it was late? Yeah. 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 All right. So, so John is the only one here. It was late. Way to go. <laughs> it says I turned it in at 9.20, and that was the due date. <laughs> <Yeah. set. laughs> Familiar yeah. story from students, isn't it? <laughs> no, I did it on time. <laughs> <laughs> 9.20, the first second. I think that's what it was. I have a question. Can you assign a due date for the peer review? That is so funny. I'm so sorry. Uh, I just looked that up. That was, that was the one idea that I found on the Canvas support site is, is requesting that peer review and that events have two due dates. One for when the assignment is due, and the other would be nice if they had a due date mm -hmm. for when the reviews are due. Right. Apparently no. No no. So you could create another assignment that says do your peer review yeah, in a separate you assignment. Just create a whole other assignment, which just at least mm -hmm. creates a, a column in the gradebook. Right. Yeah. But then I want something that links yeah, to what they did. So I guess the question is, can we do the URL entry in the URL for the assignment where they have the assignment peer review over the upper right hand? For their comments in the peer review yeah, thing. The assignments have that URL. I'd probably give it to you. You copy the URLs to the text area of the assignment. Well, and you can do like, uh, Karen, you always have the no. submit as your assignment, the yes. URL of, right. of that. Right, submit the URL. That's the only yeah. way you're going to be able to give a points for a peer review is if you have an assignment created. Right. So I love the problem solving that we do in this. Um, in I just like follow the URL of the peer review. So the student who does the peer review, right? I go into John's late paper and I say, <laughs> great comments, da -da 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 -da. I think you've got a winner of a mascot here. Before I hit submit, I grab that URL up there. I hit submit. So John gets his peer review. Mm -hmm. I take that URL that I have just copied and I go submit it as a URL in a different assignment. Ah, that's unwieldy. Like I feel like that's too much comp that's too complicated for students. So so basically once a once a student makes a comment in a peer review, they can't see it again once they submit it. That's a good question. I don't know. Because I could see students doing screenshots. Oh, screenshots would work much better, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah. And the URL I was thinking of was I, as the instructor, when I go to make that second assignment up in the text space, I could grab the URL of the other assignment, just, to, just as a convenient link to stick it there. Because if the students go to that assignment, they will see this up in the upper right hand corner, you saw all the different peer review requirements that are there. So at least it's just a quick jump for them to go, okay, here's my assignment, boom, take me to there, and I can go see how many reviews I have. This might be where something like Google Docs is a, made a, is a better solution. Because if you have a Google Doc with two, three people as sort of the editors, or two as commenters, and one as the editor, then the commenters can make their suggestions. You as an instructor can go in then and see what they said. I guess you can do that here too, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other peer review tools have an option to give you points for a peer review. So this one does it. Would be, it would be a nice thing. Yeah. There's no other way other than strange workarounds. This is awesome. Yeah. If you did create that second assignment, that also allows you as the instructor to create a point potential. So you could attach points to the reviewing process. Yeah. How many of you have done peer reviews in face-to-face uh, -face or other non-learning management yeah. ways, right? <coughs> so what are some of the best things about that that are missing in this electronic version? <laughs> it's the, I, I would say the exchange the face-to-face -face exchange between students. Yes. So I will have students, I will have them fill out a peer review sheet, um, and then I will ask them to talk through it with the author, Yeah. and that lets the author ask questions back. And, right. and so in part, that's what I'm going for here when I create a discussion group for each of my research paper working yeah. groups, 
but it, the trouble is getting them to go over and use that. Okay. Right? So. Now again, Google Docs, you could add that comment and somebody could reply back there. Yeah. So it's, yeah. The feedback is built in as a discussion forum there. That's that right. might be the option. That's right. And that's the other thing about on these peer reviews, you submit your peer review and you, I, you're that's done. It. Yeah. Yeah. 